All right, hi guys. I'm gonna to try to do a <coughs> quick tutorial on how I get my custom views set up in the default Cessna 172. Uh, I had somebody ask about it earlier today, so uh, I've got everything set up where the uh, camera view is in the default state. So I have no views saved in this aircraft. Uh, I pulled my camera config file out and just laid it on my desktop so that I could start fresh here um, <clears throat> let me take you to uh, some important things here some key bindings so on your keyboard uh, if you go to camera and you go to cockpit you'll be looking for a, a few key bindings that you're going to need so translate cockpit view right so just have that uh, bound to my right arrow on my keyboard and the same for the left. Um, there's also, you're going to find translate cockpit view forward. Uh, so I have that bound to alt plus forward. So alt, uh, not forward, up. Uh, up arrow and down arrow. So back would be down. Sorry if I miss. If I don't say this right, because this is all very confusing as I'm looking at it. Um, so translate cockpit view forward is alt up arrow. And cockpit view backwards is alt down. Uh, and the reason for the additional key binding there is because I also have uh, increased cockpit view height as just the uh, up arrow or <clears throat> up and down arrows. Um, so I got decreased cockpit view height as down. Well, it's down, but it's the back arrow on your keyboard or uh, forward arrow on your keyboard for up. It's a little confusing talking about this. Um, so I hope you see that. <clears throat> More importantly, uh, save custom view camera nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so you need to uh, get a key binding for these. Uh, I have them bound as Control Alt Zero, Control Alt One, and the numbers will correspond with the camera. Okay, uh, and I've done that all the way up through camera nine. Uh, I don't know if this will mess with any of your key bindings or not, but this is just how I have it set up. You can, you know, bind whatever key on your keyboard to this that you want. Uh, this is just how I've done it. And the other important one is load custom view. Uh, just for simplicity's sake and <clears throat> what helps me remember what view I'm saving to what key on my keyboard. Load custom view zero. I've got it as number zero on my keyboard well not my numpad but uh, the numbers across the top of your keyboard and they all correspond one two three all the way through nine uh, and the last thing uh, that you may need that i don't use too much is on your mouse i think this is default this is bound by default so toggle cockpit view free look hold so press and hold your right uh, mouse button and then when you move your mouse around, it will rotate the view left, right, up, down. So it won't translate or move uh, the perspective. It just rotates the camera. Uh, and with that being said, let's just go back in here and show you what I do. So I start with this and I rotate the mouse wheel backwards and I count how many uh, zooms it is to get. I try to widen my view here uh, you know 80 90 degree field of view or so so I'll go one two three four and five there's not a fifth one so that's four so one two three four I do that to get an idea of the zoom uh, and if I remember correctly I keep it all the way back in the Cessna so one two three four and I start from there and I do use I do use head tracker, uh, but I have it paused when I'm setting up my views initially. So I'm just going to use my uh, controls that are 
my key bindings to move the view around. So let's just go Alt forward on the arrow key will bring me up to about right there. That looks good. Now if I just press uh, forward uh, on my arrow keys, that should be up. Well, that's as high as it will let me go in the default Cessna. Uh, how do I get around that to get a higher view? So, what I figured out is if I go to the cockpit view and I turn the upper position on, it brings me up, but that's too high. I don't like that. So what I'll do is I'll press back arrow, which is down. And I'll just tap it just a little bit. It brings me down just a little and I like that position so I will save it with control alt 1 and 1 the number 1 on my keyboard is my pilot's eye view uh, and while I'm up here I will use my right arrow to move over to roughly the same position if I was to fly from the right seat I'll do control alt six so this is just kind of the format of how I do my views you can save it to whatever key binding you want uh, so control alt six so now if I go and I hit uh, the number one on my keyboard it'll take me to the first position now if I hit uh, number six it'll take me to the second position that I saved uh, but I use two three four and five as in between so I got one and six this so this is just how I've done it um, so <clears throat> when I hit one I'm or if I hit six I'm loading custom view six if I hit one I'm loading custom view one uh, and that's what I bound it to so uh, control alt one control alt two control alt three and so on now while I'm here uh, let me show you what happens if I so I try to save the number two uh, as a IFR or IMC view. So I usually will move forward to the aircraft dash panel where I'm, well, it's going kind of fast, where I can pretty much only see nothing but the dash here. And I'll save it to uh, the number two on my keyboard. So Control Alt 2. So now if I just hit the number one on my keyboard, it'll do this, and that's not what it's supposed to do, but if I hit number one again, it'll bring me to that the correct position for uh, number one on my keyboard. So I got number one, number six, and number two. Well, I don't know if you noticed it, but on number two right now, uh, the height is a little higher than where it was when I saved it. Well, I figured out uh, why. And that is because I still have this upper position on. So what you want to do is go back to uh, your original views up top when you turned uh, upper position on for uh, 1 and 6. Okay. You want to turn that off now. Let's see here. So let's go to 6, number 1. So now it's, it's actually taken me to where it had saved originally. So there's 1. There's six, and so on. I don't know if that's confusing anyone or not, but I'm up higher than the default would allow me to go either way. So it's a little finicky, so you have to play with it a little bit. Uh, so now I can do the rest of my key bindings, uh, or saving my custom views to my key bindings. So let's go down. Let's do the IFR view. Or IMC view to be more specific. So control Alt 2. Now uh, let's go back to position 1, 2, 1, 2. Now see, position 2 is the same. It's not it's not up too high now. It didn't save incorrectly. Uh, it will save incorrectly if you have this on. So you just have to play with that on and off a little bit. And then I usually will move over roughly about right there and I'll do control alt 3 to save this custom view to number 3 on my keyboard uh, a lot of times I will rotate the view down just a little bit with my mouse and then I'll save it let me save it again control alt 3 
There we go. So there's one, two, three. Uh, I usually try to offset a little bit on the GPS because sometimes the uh, cursor here can be a little finicky if you're directly heads up with it. So there's three, and then I usually go with uh, number four on my keyboard. I would usually save a view somewhere down in here. And because I use track IR, I can look around. So let's do control alt four. So I just saved that view. So we got one, two, three, four. And these are the, mind you, these are the numbers on my keyboard. Number one, number two, number three, number four. And I leave the uh, track IR paused as I'm doing this so it doesn't, I know exactly where I'm saving the view. And then, uh, so the only one that's not assigned, one through six is what I usually use on my keyboard. So I got one, two, three, four, and I got six. Well, number two, or I'm sorry, number five is usually from an IMC perspective, excuse me, but on the co-pilot side or from the right seat. And the Cessna, there's not a, there's, you don't have duplicate gauges in here, but I try to keep things consistent, so I'll do Control Alt Five. Let's see, there's six, five, six, five, one, two, one, two. Now this is just how I'm able to remember. So now I can unpause my head tracker. Now, if looking straight ahead, uh, I'm not seeing enough down here. I'll just pause my head tracker again and I will rotate the camera down just a little bit and I will control alt one yet again to save that view now I like the rotation of the camera here so what I will do at that point is I will move right back over to this position co-pilot or flying right seat with the camera rotated and I will save that in on button or number six on my keyboard. So to save it, I'll do Control Alt Six. Now, if I flip flip back and forth between one and six, I have the same angle, I guess you could call it, or head rotation that's looking down. Now I can unpause my head tracker, and now I see enough in the cockpit as well as out the window. And uh, this is just how. <clears throat> I save it. You can save it however you like. I'm just trying to show you how how to save it and then how to load it. Load the custom view. So hopefully that's enough information. Uh, if I pause my head tracker, if you want something weird, or not weird, but a, a weird angle. So let's go down to number four. Let's say you're not seeing enough to the left. So just uh, keep your head tracker if you're using it. Keep it paused. Use your right mouse button to pan over look up wherever you want the camera to be looking I don't necessarily need this because of the head tracker so if it's looking straight forward I can just use the head tracker to look over um, but so you can rotate it over to these buttons and switches here obviously release it with the mouse and this is on uh, save to custom view 4 which is also number 4 on my keyboard uh, so to save this current view that I have right now, I'll do Control Alt 4 yet again. And now, when I flip between my views, so if I, there's my pilot's eye view, which is number one on my keyboard. Let's go directly to number four on my keyboard, and that's what I get. And that's how you do it. And you can do it for zero through nine custom views. Uh, so basically, ten custom views. Uh, I hope that helps. I hope the video wasn't terribly long. It was pretty straightforward, and hopefully I didn't forget anything or screw anything up. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks.